Each year, JoCal has a decorating contest, and the departments compete against each other. Um, we each choose a theme, and traditionally that theme is based on a charity. This year we chose art as our charity, and so we've decorated in dog houses and pet pictures and topped the tree with um, one of the resuscitation oxygen masks for animals. Jenny, we have two judges, um, Jack and Angela. Okay. Um, this is Jenny. Excuse she me. is uh, a purchasing agent and the contract <laughs> specialist for us. Welcome to Sales Support with Kira Jokel. And this year we have adopted Animal Rescue of Tide Water as our theme for our Christmas decorating contest. And we have also done several uh, fundraisers for them. Um, they are, as you can see from the top of our tree, they are making sure all the local fire and rescue departments get animal oxygen kits because they were using human ones, but obviously it doesn't quite fit the same. So each kit will come with three different sizes. No <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> and you know, each kit comes with three different size masks, and you get this, and each kit runs about $70. So we set a goal for ourselves to see if we could raise enough for 10 kits. And I'm happy to announce on Friday we achieved that goal. So, um, <laughs> we've tried to focus on the positive aspects and the comfort and joy that companion animals bring to their people. And we've each got our own little dog houses here in our sales support kennel. And we've had... <laughs> Uh, the employees of Joe Kell helped us out by sending us photos of all their little critters. Okay. You know, we've decorated our tree. Um, we've had several fundraisers. We started off by selling snacks to our fellow employees, um, undercutting the vending machine guy, which he's not very happy about. <laughs> um, he definitely voices a thing. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> But that was seemed to be pretty successful. At Thanksgiving, we sold Thanksgiving pies and also Advent calendars. Um, Best pumpkin pie I've ever had. <laughs> Could you tell me about some of the businesses that have so generously donated? We've had a great response. Um, we sent out a bunch of letters to local and our photos, because I found that sending a photo along with a letter makes it a little harder for them to ignore if they can put a face with the mm -hmm. request for a donation. So um, we sent out a bunch of letters to local businesses, mainly restaurants, and uh, we've had an enormous you know, outpouring of support. Uh, Smoked from Above Barbecue has been probably our biggest supporter. They provided a barbecue lunch for up to 50 people um, that we held here. We sold tickets for $5 a piece, and so we raised a nice chunk of change you know, doing that. Um, Jake's Barbecue has also donated a party pack, which we're kind of saving that one as a surprise raffle for closer to Super Bowl time. Um, Aldo's Restaurant, Zoe's Restaurant, um, Frankie's Ribs, they've all donated uh, gift certificates. Great Bridge Barbecue, we seem to have a lot of barbecue places that were really into it this year. And Mexican restaurants, Qdoba and uh, Moe's also donated quite a bit for us. Wonderful. So we've, we've really enjoyed working with them. And Albano Cleaners is always a good supporter of ours. What, no matter what we get involved with, because we take turns choosing what, within our department, everybody gets a turn to choose what they want to support. And Albano supports us every year, no matter what cause we're involved in. That's fantastic. And at the same time, while we were doing all of that, we were sending out uh, copies of our photos with the Norfolk Fire Department and Stephanie from Animal Rescue of Tidewater. Um, and Leo, a, res a dog that the employees of Joe Kell rescued about what, a year, year and a half ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, August last year. Yeah, and he has since found a new home and comes to visit every so often. <laughs> um, but we were sending out letters to a lot of, well that didn't work very well, restaurants and merchants in the area and as a result we've acquired all these items up for raffle through donations. We haven't put forth one penny of our own to get, I think there was what, 22 or 23 items that we have to raffle off. And uh, so that's one, one of our biggest fundraisers there, but probably the biggest thing we've done so far is Smoked From Above Barbecue donated an entire lunch for everyone. So we've got a few photos here on the wall that we sold tickets to our lunch and raised probably enough money for three or four mass kits.
just with that one endeavor. So we've been so all this raised seven hundred dollars. Is that what the, the mm -hmm. goal was? Ten of those kits, seventy bucks. Yeah, and we well by now we've actually You've surpassed surpassed that. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we started this back at the beginning of September. Yeah, you know, we got a, kind of a little wow. jump on it. Yeah, you know, with the fundraising part of mm -hmm. it. So, yeah. but, so we've been busy and had a good time and made some new friends. Um, Gary is from the local fire department that he helped hook, <laughs> hook us up, and Stephanie and Bobby from Animal Rescue of Tidewater. Oh, okay. So how did y'all come up with the idea originally? It was kind of by mistake. Um, I'd seen a news... It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. terrible. Okay. Accident. Always the best that's mistake. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by accident. That's a better way to put it. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, I'd seen a newscast for a group that was raising money to buy bulletproof vests for police dogs. And so the next day I was surfing around the internet trying to get more information, and I came across this video of a dog being resuscitated with one of these masks. Oh, God, it just tears your heart out. You see this dog laying there, his tail is just and pretty soon they put the oxygen on the little, and pretty soon the tail's going, you know, and you're just like, oh, yeah. So, um, and that, it was on their website, and that's how I got in touch with them okay. to find out how we could help yeah. get the local fire and rescue people hooked up. And I think Norfolk, you said we're only seven away from having everybody have at least two for each rescue unit, because a lot of fires, you have more than one pet in the home. Sure. Um, and then I guess from there we'll move on to like Portsmouth and Virginia Beach and other local rescue people. I know Chesapeake has at least one on each rescue truck. Did you know anything about this? Did I see the little stickers idea. on people's doors that say, please rescue my pets, but I never had any idea yeah, that they did anything but open the door yeah. and get them out. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this has been. Let's get them out of there. Yeah. yeah, so it was kind of, yeah, it was. Everybody was like, and, doing and you what? have your your organization there as well. Bobby. Yes, it's good to see. Yeah, you. they've been supporting us the whole way, and um, it's been a real learning experience, and it's been a lot of fun. This is great. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of no, I don't. It's I don't. Know. It was kind of it was just kind of a learning thing here. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a little? Could I ask for a photo op? Would it of course. Be a good idea? Yeah. Bobby. You want to come be in the photo with us yeah. as well? Uh, LHR, Bobby is the, the president of <laughs> Inland Rescue Tidewater. Oh, okay. Is Bobby an LHR yeah. alumni? Yeah. 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 yeah, well, that's the reason. Yeah. 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 There's another good reason. Disqualified. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to be in the picture. Over in front of the tree. Huh? Yeah, over by the tree. Over here by the tree. We need to be by the tree. There you go. We all drink the LHR food. Uh, we all drank the LHR food. <laughs> that's, that's right. I'm the shortest. You're the shortest, right? How's this work? Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. This is wonderful. It's so good to see you. What class? Two, I think we were 2001. Just don't care. Mm -hmm. Two. 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 With your donations of uh, 10 mask kits, it's enough to put us over the top and provide mask kits for every fire station. Wow. And we are so honored to have you choose us. No, thank so you. We no, we, we've had a great time doing it, and I personally plan to stay involved with Animal Rescue of Tidewater.